Israel's war against Hamas is intensifying. Israeli troops and tanks have taken over northern Gaza. Rocket fire, whizzing of bullets and blasts have become the norm. Israel and Hamas are engaged in urban warfare. Casualties are running high on both sides. But Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is showing no signs of slowing down. He wants to take the battle straight to Hamas. Our heroic soldiers have not fallen in vain. Out of the deep pain of them having fallen, we are more determined than ever to continue fighting until Hamas is eliminated, until absolute victory. And leading Israel's assault in Gaza is its air force. F-16, F-15 and F-35 fighter jets have been deployed at full strength. They are bombing Hamas from thousands of feet in the air. Large explosions continue to rock the Gaza Strip. Israel has dropped thousands of tons of bombs from its fighter jets and the US has objected to this. An intelligence report from Washington DC says that nearly half of the bombs dropped in Gaza were unguided munition or what are called as dumb bombs. US President Joe Biden says that Israel will lose international support because of its indiscriminate bombings and Hamas were quick to build on Biden's sentiment. Even in President Biden's speech, he talked about an indiscriminate bombing. This is an acknowledgement that the enemy is bombing indiscriminately. Today, there was a report issued by the U.S. State Department on the dropping of 29,000 bombs on the Gaza Strip, claiming that some of them were dumb bombs. This is an acknowledgement of indiscriminate bombing. This acknowledgement of this magnitude of the bombing of the Gaza Strip confirms what is happening in Gaza is a war crime. So what exactly are these dumb bombs and how are they different from other aerial bombs? Aerial bombs are usually dropped from fighter jets or strategic bombers. A pilot who is flying thousands of feet in the air presses the trigger on his joystick and a bomb is released from the aircraft. Then, the bomb glides in its natural free-fall trajectory and barrels towards the ground due to velocity and gravity. These types of unguided bombs are called dumb bombs. Dumb bombs have been in use since World War II. These bombs have no guidance mechanisms apart from gravity, which is why they're also referred to as gravity bombs or free-fall bombs. These bombs have an aerodynamic shape. They often have fins and a tail to reduce drag and increase stability. The dumb bomb follows its natural ballistic trajectory when dropped from thousands of feet in the air and detonate once the fuse of the bomb makes contact with the ground. The purpose of the dumb bomb is to target large areas and since these aren't guided, they are less precise, which is why they pose a greater threat to civilians. So how did the dumb bomb get its name? It's quite simple. The dumb bomb used to be called the general purpose bomb, but as military technology developed, precision and guided munitions started getting inducted. So the guided bombs were given the name smart bombs and the unguided bombs became the dumb bomb. Here's how the two bomb types are different. Guided bombs can be monitored and controlled with an external device. There can be different ways of guiding the smart bombs. Radio is the oldest way of guiding an aerial bomb. There is infrared guidance which is rarely used in operations. The most highly used precision bomb is laser guided. Here, a laser is fired onto the intended target and the bomb has a receiver in its head which directs the bomb onto the laser. Then there's also satellite guidance. In this, 
coordinates are pre-fed into the bomb's computer and upon release, the bomb follows the coordinates on its own. In essence, a smart bomb can be dropped exactly where it's intended. On the other hand, a dumb bomb cannot be course-corrected once it's dropped, which is the biggest reason why it has caused the highest amount of collateral civilian casualties in modern history.